go. So today I want to talk about Bible memorization technique that's based on the biological neural network and the spike timing dependent plasticity. So let's have a practice <clears throat> at memorizing this particular passage from 2 Peter 3.18. But grow in the grace and knowledge of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. So right off the bat, um, I think it's helpful to identify the blocks. And I can identify about four blocks, but grow the grace and knowledge of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. And the aim here is to strengthen the link, the one-way link between the first block to second, second to third, and third to fourth. So let me write down the four blocks. But grow in the, the second block, grace and knowledge of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Now the normal method most people use is to do it in the correct order and here's the problem with that Oh, so they would look at this one, but grow in the, but grow in the, and then they would look at the next one, grace and knowledge of, and then they were trying to link this, and then they would go, but grow in the grace and knowledge of our, but the brain doesn't work like this. Brain is, is rather like the hard disk area and the memory area. The memory area is like a heap. So it keeps the most recent thought at top, and then you peel it off. And so in this order, Jesus Christ, Lord and Savior, the order is opposite. And what the brain research has shown is that when a link between any two, the timing of the signal between any two nodes, or two ideas, I guess, in this sense, is both ways, that link is weakened as a result. What you need is a consistency in the ordering. So you always want this link firing before this link. And so when you have this unidirectional firing, as a result of this, you will always strengthen the link between Lord and Savior and Jesus Christ. So the way I suggest is to go in the reverse order. So you first commit to memory the last area, Jesus Christ, Jesus Christ. And then you build on top of this, the second last one, Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. The link is now made in the hard disk area of our brain. Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. And then when we are confident of this link, we build on the next part. Grace and knowledge of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Again, and we go on and continue. Grace and knowledge of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Grace and knowledge of our... And at this point, you should immediately just think, Lord and Savior. And at this point, it's like the prediction in a keyboard and a smartphone, Jesus Christ. So we solidify the last part and then we built on the bit that beforehand. And because of this ordering, naturally, we have Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. And once that's been solidified, we build on the next part, grace and knowledge of our 
Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. And now to top it all off, we begin with the first part. But grow in the that's right. Grace and knowledge of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. I hope that's been helpful and keep memorizing. Bye. Okay.